Oh dear, I seem to have lost my portal. Man, I've got to locate one all over again. It looks like we may have to. A day has passed and my portal location has disappeared. So looks like we've got to find another monolith to help us locate up the next portal. So let's use one of these. Hopefully that's another monolith. But we now just need to keep searching to find the next portal. So off we go. Here's the marker on this planet for the portal has disappeared. What mysteries do you hold, my friend? Hopefully, the next checkpoint. Let's see. What have you got, mate? Oh, that can't be it. Ah, oh, you suck, mate. Right, let's use another one. Come on, Howard, let's go. To the next black, my friends. Hopefully this one would lead us to victory. Form. I'll be fluent in Gek before the end of this. I can't believe the first time I like find a portal on my first go, but no, it's not proving so easy. So, uh, alien monolith number three. Could this be the one? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. Snap on was also nothing. Hmm. I'm beginning to think the man that sold me these was a crook. You learned the gek word for portal. Ugh. Come on. You have learned the gag word for translation. Why using the right thing? This is going to be a very interesting video, ladies and gentlemen, of me just going up and down, up and down, not finding what we need. So if this doesn't work, I'm just going to go back to my other planet and see if that one's still there. Because that one was easier to find than this too. Right, so up to the station it is, let's go. We've exhausted them, and to be fair, I think they're not the right ones, so let's shoot into space. Well, so far we've found absolutely zilch. So back to the warp on my original settlement then. Which means we get to drop in on the people of Moid County and see what their problems are today on the way through. So let's do that. So here we are back where I started at my little city. Always 
good opportunity to save. Let's see what's up with these guys. They present no evidence. Well, sorry, mate. No evidence. Oh dear. Fill you up, let's go. So it looks like the portal location on this world's disappeared also. Which is going to be a bit of a pain in the backside, because I can't remember where it was. So let's try using one of these on here. Aha! Monolith! Cool. Right. Well, let it not be said, we've learnt a lot of gek along the way. And uh, understand the majority of the gibberish. Yes, please. Locate the portal. Okay, here we are. So let's import our next location. Ah, we must repair it first. This is the fun part. Okay, it's charged. So let me go and get my scrap of paper and let's go to the next place. Here we go, this should be my next world. We shall see. Here we go. That should take me to my activated Indian farm, which is going to earn me some serious money. And this is going to save me the time of having to set another one up to my Steam account. Then I can sponge off my Microsoft account. Well, this is a planet. It's a gorgeous planet because the uh, the grass fluoresces in the, in the night. It's really cool. Now we just need to find where I am on here. And there it is. Directed Indian form. Yay. Once again, uh, thank you, Mr. Portal, and look at that lovely view. So here we go. Here's my activated Indian form. If I find over this right, there's my power station coming into view. I've got a little grid going there. Give me all the power I need. Which is buried over time, but still works. Over the trees. Landing hindered by the fact that uh, there's lots of trees. to the knowledge stone. Let's learn some more gag. Oh. How ironic the gag word for scan. So there's a monolith all the way over there. There's my portal. That's not faded out of view this time. It appears that my farm is buried. I remember building it on the land. So, um, there is that. So I can't actually get inside, but I can go up to where the farm is. If I can walk into the teleporter, I can't. Yeah, this this shouldn't all be buried. It's like the planet's changed. Put all this on flat. There you go. There's there's my stuff working away. There's lots of them. 
They're all buried. But we got a whopping 41,000 activated and indium there. We can get all of it into our exosuit storage. And if I go sell that now, it's going to net me quite a few million. But yeah, the base is there. The resources are accessible, so that's a good thing. It's just, it's, it's sunk into the ground. I've got another farm and there's like two on the same planet. The storms here are frequent, but very, very mild. So let's get one of my pets out and go on a trek, like we did last time to find a suitable spot. I've since renamed our friend Winky Winky to his forefather's name of Zebulon. So we got you back out. Give you a treat. We're not going to use you, but yeah. Good on you. I'm going to use my crazy pumpkin faced dinosaur because it's really fast. Yeah, man, let's go. Have something to eat first. Get your energy up, mate. Right? Because now we're going to go on a little bit of a voyage like we did on the previous planet find ourselves a suitable place to set up hopefully near another activated indium deposit because that'd be pretty cool so we're gonna head south sometimes this game is just too damn beautiful even on these low settings so we found somewhere to get power And uh, I could probably build something down here. That's it, you clean yourself, whatever you're doing. But before I forget. Right, now the marker's in the right place, let's find a nice spot to start building. I love these perfectly harmless storms, it's so good. But yeah, it's a really, really nice planet when there's no storms going on. You know, sometimes this game's so flipping beautiful, man. Have it a storm again, it looks so pretty. Okay. Back to what my current distraction was, which was starting to find something. Like the last planet, I'm going to get distracted, but we're going to end up with uh, a heavily clipped video, but with some really cool buildings, hopefully. Here we are, closing in on my... Uh, Xbox mine that I made a long time ago. Let me see, that's going to give me quite a bit, so let's just dip down here. And steal some activated indium to make some big money. I don't know what's going off with them. It never used to be like that. It must be like part of the updates over time. They do alter stuff. I don't know. Just don't remember there being too random. 
Yeah. So look at all these. This will give me quite a bit. This will take 36,000. Thank you very much, Lee. I've also settled my own mine here as well. On top of the Notch Gamer one. Which breaks in a modest amount. Let's cash for these in. Now, since I cashed in my farms, I bought a few bits of my fleet. I bought myself an S rank ship, and I've been back here and I have been building with materials. I got severely distracted from the nature of this video again, which was to link all the bases between two of my crossplay accounts, which should have been a straightforward process, but the distractions contained within No Man's Sky are everywhere. And in this case, I just saw the challenge of building. So what we've done, we will start you off here. I've not bothered naming the system as always. I'm too lazy for that. Here's my portal into this place. Here's my landing pad. And a few bits and bobs. Over here we keep all the uh, safes of our goodies in. So we can access our stuff. And behind me is what I can only describe as the most ridiculous tower I've ever built. Probably more ridiculous than half of the Lego towers I built as a child. But I've spent like a week messing about doing this. The biggest thing I've built in No Man's Sky, yeah. I've just been messing around with all the new things you can use. There's loads of new building materials. And as you can hear, I've been playing with a bite beat for the first time. That's a laugh, but it takes a lot of time to make it sound like anything. But a lot of fun. So here we go, here's Windium Tower. My ground floor with all the essentials. It's nice to see things have disappeared again this time. Keep getting internal furniture disappearing. And this is out of tune every time I walk past it. But there's my bike beat. I've got up to five now. And it sounds a little bonkers. We've got a dance floor. If you want to do a bit of dancing. Some random stuff in here. A lot of it needs furnishing. But let's continue upwards. Rooms are plenty everywhere. B sounds off. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Oh no. There we go. I forgot the way around my own tower here. Here we are with our first nice sort of a vista from the top. Nice view of our power station and a couple of the cables going up there. Over there we've got a mine I built relatively close by. Continue up and through all these blank canvas rooms. Ah, not very well lit. So let's just light that up. I completely got lost there. Let's drop a little lantern under the stairs there. Just to make a point to that when you come in, that's an easy way up. There's a rather scary plummet there if you go off the side, but I've not fixed that yet. Up we go. And again. As we find a nice spiral staircase. See no consistency to the route of this building because it's just randomness of me building it. So we had a few falls that were like this just to get a bit higher up. Until that little teleport here. Brings us to this nice little exit here. Onto the rooftop. Oh, 
And there we are at the current top of my tower. Well, it's a long way down. Hi, Starship. So, as I was supposed to be doing, you know, continuing to link my bases, which was the idea of these videos, uh, I got carried away a lot again. Here we are at the top of Windium Tower, which is the tower I've been building for the past week, for some reason, just because I wanted to, and I got totally distracted. We have a little farm over there that I built to get me some activated indium and there should be a little purple marker there which is the Knots Gamer site, the original Knots Gamer site from the Xbox crossplay uh, save and that gives me a lot of activated indium as well so I bought a lot of stuff for that and I built this ginormous tower that we stood at the top of oh well perhaps I did get a little bit carried away But yeah, I find this cool fighter along the way as well, and it's got a little droid on the wing, which makes me giggle. It's very, very Star Wars. I like that. He doesn't do anything. He just looks around. But there we are, Windium Tower. My current work in progress. I'm going to go away and build another bit of this now, so... Hmm. 